Everyone, today we're doing a how to 360. Yes, how to 360. So essentially, if you've seen some of our content on our YouTube channel, we have started doing 360 videos. They're 360 degrees or VR for virtual reality. So this is a relatively, it's been the, the concept, the cameras have been around for a while, but I think it's, it's more important to educate a lot of our viewers because not a lot of people are consuming this video or know how to. So we thought it'd be great to do a how to video. Historically, if you guys are watching our video, our GoPros have been our, our mainstay. We do a lot of GoPros. You'll see we've got drones over here. Uh, drones have been great for aerial coverage. And then obviously Trong's behind the camera. We do it a lot of handheld. That's traditionally how we have done our videos is from a very, it's almost kind of two dimensional. It's just whatever we show you what we want you to see. The beauty of 360 kind of lies. Uh, well, our tool at least is right here. It's really small. Uh, we use an Insta360 not paid or sponsored by Insta. We did our research. This is a very, fairly basic entry-level camera. But you'll see this little device right here is able to capture 360 degrees around you. So you'll see there's a fisheye lens on one and the other. So we have been using this camera um, to shoot 360 videos. And again, we've got a few out right now. Uh, there are a large, if you guys are interested to get into 360 videos, there's a lot of cameras out there. There's definitely a more professional, higher grade, but we're just testing and we found this has been the easiest, highest quality video. So our, our point today is not to go over the camera as much as to show you how to maximize and utilize it. And this isn't just for extreme sandbox videos. This is for any 360 or VR videos you're seeing because there's a lot out there right now. And I think a lot of people don't exactly know how to consume or watch it. So the intent of this video is to kind of go over that. So I'm gonna put this camera away and we'll kind of go into the different options because that's the beauty of 360. Now 360 videos, there are really three different formats that you can watch that. And what it allows a viewer is you get to control the camera. So like I said earlier of a traditional vlog that we've done, we're, like, we're pointing the camera where we want you to watch with a 360 that's all out the window is you as the viewer are really in control of seeing what you wanna see. So the three different ways you can consume it is on your desktop through uh, YouTube, Facebook, they all interact with 3D or uh, 360 videos, VR videos. So you've got desktop as one. The second, mobile device, which that's pretty much everyone's got mobile right now. So about half of our content on YouTube is on mobile. And the third and final is these little VR goggles. And there's a lot of different ones. I'll go over these at the end. Uh, that is the third way to get a really immersive experience. So what I wanted to do today is kind of go through each one and just show you the different formats. I think it's a really interesting new video that a type that will be, uh, be great to be able to interact with all of our fans. So with that said, let's go over the desktop first. So this traditionally is probably the most, uh, I mean, initially desktop is where most people started. I'm on our Extreme Sandbox YouTube page, by the way, hopefully you've subscribed, liked it, hit the little bell to get notifications. Uh, we on our page have started a playlist and you'll see it, it is called uh, 360 videos, VR experiences. So what I'll do is we have two in there right now. Again, we'll start adding more. So. I just played it. Typically with our videos, we put 360 degrees in front of it so you know, and it's usually on thumbnail. You're gonna find that on YouTube for most content producers are putting something on the thumbnail, the picture to say 360, and that's what that means. It's basically a 360 degree camera, um, and you can consume that that way. So now once I'm on here, you'll see immediately here, if I just, I pause the video, I can with my mouse here, I can drag this, and I'm gonna make this full screen. But if you see right here on my laptop, I am basically dragging this around and I can do 360 anywhere I wanna go. So with that, there's also on YouTube, you have a little arrow pad up in the top corner, so I can just spin that. And if you look up, we're actually flying this one underneath a drone, but it literally will give me 360 degrees where I can be in control as the viewer where we wanna watch. So I'll start playing it again. 
There's Tron. This was one of our first episodes, but you'll see I can fast forward through this video. And what's beautiful about this is, you know, one with a drone, it gives a really cool aerial perspective. You can drag this camera around anywhere you want to see, and you can be in the driver's seat and control. So that is on YouTube or on a desktop. Again, probably not out of the scheme of things for watching 360 videos, I probably wouldn't recommend desktop. It's as much as that's cool and drag it, it's still kind of tough because you got to drag the screen or use the little arrow. The second form is probably the number one way that all of us as uh, viewers consume content through our mobile device. Um, so again, I'm using a standard, this is an iPhone. Uh, I'm on the same page here. I basically have opened up 360 videos on there. And then I'm just gonna click our dueling, the same video as this watch in there. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna flip it. Now this is gonna be hopefully tough, maybe tough for you to see. I'll start playing it. But you can see the difference on a mobile, and this applies to pretty much all the, I mean, the newer mobiles within the last five years. If you move this, you're gonna move the direction of the camera. So it doesn't need the dragging that you see on a desktop. So if I, so if I move that camera, I can do two things. One, I can drag it with my finger, so I can do that. But I also can just move the phone and it's going to show where, it's basically wherever I'm pointing my phone, I can literally do a 360 on this and move to show everywhere around there. So that's really, really cool. You can see I'm doing that. This, this is probably the number one way that you're gonna consume 360 videos on a mobile and it just gives you a different perspective. I can do the same things I do on any other video. I can fast forward. But again, wherever I'm at, I can drag that wherever or just move my phone wherever I want to see and it's going to point the camera. It puts you in control. I'm going to pause that. So that is on your mobile device. Now the third and final way, which I think is going to be probably the, the mainstream in another several years is for a truly immersive, how do you get it so you're actually watching, like wearing it and looking first person? That is where Things like this. Now we've got, this is, again, nothing special here. This is, I think I got this as a Christmas gift and there's a lot of 3D or VR apps out there. Um, but this is a VR goggle set. Again, there are countless ones like that. Comes out, you put a mobile device right in there. The cheaper way, which I really like, this is Google Cardboard, $15. You can't beat that. It is literally comes as a piece of cardboard you fold up and it's basically just got the little goggles in there and you can put it in there and that way it's an immersive experience. Now what happens here, you're still gonna have to use your mobile device. Um, what you see on YouTube and most other, again, YouTube's our main video platform. Down in the right corner, you'll see it looks like a little mask um, down on the right. So this only applies to VR videos. There will be a little mask down there to show that you can basically make this into a VR platform. So if I click that, what just happens on my mobile, it actually splits that. And it takes this one camera feed that we have, the one video feed, it splits it. So it's basically like a left eye, right eye. Uh, and this again is pretty standard for any 360 video. But now what that allows me to do is I can now use a goggle or any VR cardboard and I will be able to have really a truly immersive experience. So with this, what I do, and again, I Google Cardboard's cheap one. I'm gonna go ahead and just click to play it. Once you start playing this, there we go. This is a, so again, it's still, you'll see on there, but again, the only way to really see this is I put it in a device like Google Cardboard here, Velcro's on, and now I can put this on, and literally it feels like you're in the camera. You can look around, I can do everything there. Like right now I'm watching one of our training videos, it feels like I am in the machine. So that's how cool something like that, again, and some of these, with this, you can actually be wearing it. So, I'm gonna stop that. 
So the beauty of that is it really makes it feel like you're in first person view. I will tell you from experience for our aerial ones we do, I don't recommend like walking around. You'll get disoriented pretty quickly <laughs> when you're doing that and moving around, but it is a really cool new format and allows you to watch this in several different ways. So, so that's about it. You know, we're gonna continue to post more of these 360 VR videos on our page. Uh, we just really wanna help you guys consume it, know how to use it. And then we'd love to hear any comments below. How are you using it? How do you, what do you wanna see? For the first time, we're gonna be able to put you in the driver's seat and let you point the camera where you want. So we'll continue to do multiple different video platforms but a VR 360 type experience is truly amazing. So again, thank you all for watching our channel. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thanks a lot.